Hey guys, welcome back to another Call of Duty video. So in this video, I want to do something a little bit different. I still get tons of messages down in the comments asking about the best settings to use for Warzone. And so I want to go over some of those settings in this video. I always play at 1440p with maxed out settings, but if you're trying to get the best performance in game, there are some settings that you should tweak a little bit. Display mode, you want to be in full screen. Your screen refresh rate, depending on your monitor, my monitor is 144 Hz, so it's at 144. V-Sync you want to have disabled. Now when you're playing, you kind of want to cap your frame rate at your screen refresh rate. So you'll go to custom, gameplay custom frame rate limit, 144. And then I change that to the appropriate value. But for purposes of benchmarking and stuff, the FPS counters on the left, I set it to unlimited so it can go above 144. Nvidia highlights I have disabled. Reflex low latency I have enabled plus boost. Details and textures. They don't have that much of an impact on performance in game. So if you can max it out, it'll just make the game look a lot better. Tessellation, you can actually do disabled. On demand texture streaming, I've done tests where it's disabled or enabled and I see no difference in the texture quality. So I have a set to disabled. And now this section, shadow and lighting probably has the most impact on your frames in game. The shadow resolution is gonna have a huge impact on your frames. I have it set to extra, but you can turn it down to low or normal. For the cache settings, you want to have both options enabled. Particle lighting doesn't have a big impact on frames, so I go ahead and set that to ultra. DirectX ray tracing has a huge impact on frames and performance. So if you're looking for that extra FPS, disable it. To be honest, I don't see that much of a difference between enabled and disabled because I'm not really looking at shadows when I'm in game trying to shoot someone but I haven't enabled, but if you want to optimize your performance, have that set to disabled. Ambient occlusion also doesn't really change how the game looks that much. You can set that to disabled. Screen space reflections, I have it set to high. You can put that to normal as well. Anti-aliasing, the higher the setting here, the, the more smooth edges are gonna seem. I have it set to max. Depth of field disabled, and then motion blur is disabled. These are the settings I would use at 1440p. If I really want the perfect balance between visuals and performance. Hopefully this video helped a little bit. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments and I'll try to answer them. So with that, we'll go ahead and queue up into a Battle Royale Solos game. Fire on my dark. Enemy dropping into the AR. This is Tracker 3 1, good copy. Strike him back. Shots missed. Gas is inbound. Marking you safe zone. 